All right, Lou, first off, Combine, is this the closest you've ever come to recruit ever in your life? Well, certainly. I live about two miles away from here, and so to come over to, to the Combine is excellent. You know, it's, it's nice to right in my backyard, get up, be able to watch some good kids compete, and um, it's, like I said, it's only a couple miles away, so it's, it's very convenient. And your son's out here too, right? Yes. Uh, my son just started in eighth grade, so he's uh, in there scrapping right now, so it's a, it, it's a good thing. The Combine's excellent. To, be able to see to test himself a little bit to see where he's at you know being a newbie he's uh you know got to get some more competition you know sometimes you work out and you don't know where you're at and for him it, so it's a, it's a great event for him to be able to see the level of competition that he needs to see i know that old man Chirella, mark mm -hmm. held the three boys out until like eighth grade like what you did did you is that like a model that you try to go after or do you let the kids choose well it's a little bit on them i i don't I don't overly encourage it. I just want them to want to wrestle. It's a very tough sport, so I think that if, if they um, if they really like the sport, they'll they'll grow to it, you know. And I don't have to keep telling them you got to be in it in, in the fourth grade. I mean, my son started. He did maybe a month in fourth grade, and then he got out of it and didn't like it because it's very physical, as we all know. And um, so I just let them grow at their own rate, you know. Now he's he's a tenth grader and he's starting to you know come into his own, and and um, he enjoys it. I mean, if you can like wrestling when you're not winning. You know, if, and you're just like the working out, you like the, the physical demand that it puts on you. So for me, it's just, I let them, you know, do the sports that they like. And then I just encourage that part of it. And then I try to help and make a commitment to them once they decide that this is for me. You know, you're a college coach, guys are national champs last year. You just coached Kyle Snyder to a world title, which was really impressive, congratulations. And what's it like being a dad compared to one of the best RTC freestyle coaches in the world? What's it like? How do you separate the two? Well, I think the balance is tough. You know, I think each level is tough for me. You know, obviously, the, you, you go to the world championships, you see really elite wrestlers, and you go to the national championships, and, you know, like you said, our team has won. Um, and then you come down to high school practices, and, you know. But I think at the end of the day, I, all I'm really looking for is people that are passionate. You know, I want my son to be passionate about what he's doing. I, you know, and part of the deal is, you know, when you go into practice, I want you to stand out. I want you to work so hard that other coaches say, wow. You know, and I think that's, the level change is very difficult. You know, because you, I, I'm privy to, like I said, all those different events. But being, keeping balance, you know, and not getting frustrated for where he's at, you know. I jokingly say I always want trajectory to be like this, and sometimes it's like this. So, you know, as long as you're working hard at something, and, and I think he is, I, I'm good with that. You guys have some road trips where you're out of town four or five days, uh, and, you know, you don't see your kid. How comfortable, what's your comfort level with Zucker and Marinelli as the coaches here? Well, it's great. Um, I, I'm glad that they, they give me the opportunity to come in and work out with my son. And, and you know, they, this facility, they let me come over and, and work out with them whenever. You know, and sometimes when it's on Sundays when they, it's not open, I can come over and drill with my son. And So it's great that they do a great job. And, and I'm glad that they're, they give me the opportunity to work with my son and be a part of his life. And, you know, in the springtime, you know, I, I do, a, you know, do some help or work for them and run some practices, you know, when uh, obviously compliance ready. <laughs> But, um, you know, it's good. You know, they, they have comfort in me being able to give them my view on something and without being, you know, everyone has their own view on, on, on the way things should be handled. And, and I'm glad that they, you know, take, you know, maybe I'm a tough critic, but, you know, they certainly um, understand, you know, the levels I'm at. And Mark was an All-American, a two-time All-American, so he's a stud himself. So he gets it. And he, you know, he's, I think that we all think the same way. We just want what's best for the kids. Logan Stever's been, you know, competing at such a high level since he's six, seven, eight years old. You, know, you hold your kid out till you don't hold him out. Your kid chooses to come back in eighth grade. Is it hard to maintain that level like what Logan's done? And, and does it give your kid an advantage, advantage, maybe going to the next level, having legs underneath them? Well, I think you know, it, it's it, you're like a car. You know, um, Logan Stever's got a lot of miles on him. You know, I mean, he's he's definitely worked himself, and he, obviously he's an elite, elite wrestler. You know, trying out for the Olympics, four-time national champion. Um, I think he just has more miles on him than Jordan, you know, or he's someone that starts in the eighth grade, you know. And so what he learned maybe in the seventh grade, Jordan's learning in the tenth grade. But um, eventually, if, if, if you really want to be successful, you know, both plans will work, you know, just one starting off at, at a later point. So, but they're both good, you know. Not everybody can be like Logan and, and have the motivation and be successful for that long at every level, whether you're talking about it, a fifth grader, an eighth grader, or a college national champion. You know, and I admire both both avenues. You know, but for for people that you know that you're not starting in the fourth grade or the third grade, 
you know, I don't think it's a bad thing. If the foreigners do it all the time. They start with their athleticism, and, and then they start putting you into, into a role, you know, later in life, you know, where you can comprehend the work ethic and understand the skill sets. You lose two guys, two national finalists. Can you guys win again without Kyle Snyder, without Logan Sieber? Can you win a team title again? Sure. We just need we, we just need other people to step up. You know, for the last few years, I mean, yes, you get a Logan Steber who's 26 points at the national tournament. We just need other people to, to fill in. You need the Julius. You need Tavanello. You need Kenny Courts to, you know, make a run for the title. You, you just need some other guys. Um, can it be done? 100%. You know, but you got to get better. You know, you got to look at, at the wrestling part and, and get better e each day and each week. Three weight class questions. 41, 57, 97, 84-ish. What are you sending out? Well, right now we have done our wrestle offs, but um, you know, at 41, you know, you might, you might see a, a Micah Jordan, um, 57. You know, uh, Bercher and, and Jake Ryan will both compete, and one will probably go up. Um, and what the last weight class? You want to know? 84, 97. 80, 84, 97. We're in the same boat. I mean, you got a Kenny Quartz who's a returning All-American at 84. Uh, you might see, you know, a Colin Moore at 97 or a Mark Martin. It just depends. So we'll do a wrestle loss and see where we're at. And you know, some people might redshirt, some might not. Uh, the one thing I can tell you is we're going to put out our best team. I know that for a fact. We'll put our best team out there and, and try to compete for the title. Will Miles wrestle right away at 74? He may. He may. We're going to see where he's at. You know, um, after first the, a few competitions to see where he's really at. I mean, one thing's practice. I think he's he's an elite wrestler, and I think he's capable of being really successful. But uh, until I see him wrestle some, the field, you know, I, I, we'll make a decision after that. After we see him compete. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? No, I'm good. Hey, thanks for the time. Yes. Congratulations. Yes, thank you.